Amanda Garamani is used to bad news out of Iran about her aunt, Homa Hudfar. But this news is a shock. Hearing that she's been hospitalized, hearing about the deteriorating health um, and, and the fact that she's incredibly weak, uh, we're very, very concerned about her, her health and her well-being. Garamani doesn't even know why her aunt is in the hospital. Hutfar has been in Tehran's notorious Evan prison since June, the same prison where Canadian-Iranian photojournalist Zara Kazemi died after a beating in 2003. Hutfar has a neurological condition. The family says she hasn't been given treatment or medicine. No surprise for this former Evan prisoner. If they have any health issues, usually they are ignored. And basically the regime in Iran uses this opportunity to inflict even more pain and suffering on prisoners and their families by denying uh, the medical help that prisoners need. Hutfar was in Iran on a research visit studying women in Islam. Iran has charged her with collaborating with a hostile government, accused her of dabbling in feminism. This international law expert says Iran might want to trade Hudfar for some concessions. Or maybe she's a victim of Iranian politics. Some speculate that uh, just as the pr so-called pragmatists want to restore diplomatic ties with Canada and uh, develop better relations with the United States and Europe, that the hardliners are trying to sabotage that. Amnesty International says Canada has to do more. She is a, a prisoner of conscience and she must be immediately and unconditionally released by the Iranian government. Hudfar's family is clinging to that hope. The perfect outcome would be that she would be out tomorrow. In a statement, Global Affairs Canada says, in the absence of diplomatic representation of our own, we are working with countries of influence to press the case and secure her safe return to her family. Because Canada closed its embassy in Tehran in 2012, negotiations could be difficult. Hudfar is also an Irish citizen. Her supporters are hoping that Ireland also steps in to help save her life.